What's up everybody on YouTube land welcome back to the last garage today. We got ourselves a new little project I've already kind of started this project and uh, That'll help to Eliminate any cuss words that might have happened inside this garage so Working on the uh, fat Bob again and Been taking some uh, trips and not having saddlebags has been a pill. So the goal for this was to uh, make sure that they are as close to that rear fender as I could. I wound up actually having to lose the uh, rear sissy bar mounting points because of it. It just was going to stick it out way too far. And it made this section look a little bit worse. Uh, if I would have known that it was going to be like this, I probably would have gotten the ones without the cutouts and just kept the uh, sissy bar area. But I fear it's like, well, this is a uh, for a Dyna. Well, little thing with the fat bob is your mounting points are a little bit wider than on your typical Dynas. I believe even the Switchback has uh, more narrower mounting points. And you actually lost pretty much all your side to side adjustability with the uh, Quick because of it. You actually, it has to be all the way and all the way. You don't have that side to side adjustability with it. Um, that's not something I was really expecting. I was thinking, it's like, okay, well, if I get my elevation correct, I'll be able to fine tune in the uh, side to side. And I realized real fast I wasn't going to be able to do that. And that made this a little more difficult job than it probably had to be. So. Got one side done, I'll uh, get this other side put on. Take a couple measurements uh, where I drilled that way so that it'll give you kind of an eye. You can either go off of my drill points or find them yourself. I did not wind up putting the two bags side to side when I drilled the other one. I mapped it out and drilled it that way. I found that was going to be the easier route to go. Um, thinking back on it, I probably could have, because it's a mirror image, so what I could have done is uh, taken a piece of paper and made my centers that way, but I didn't. I just mapped it out. So what I went off of here, here's a uh, the other one. There's one off of here, right on this edge. And it's uh, in about a 16 to an eighth over two and a half. And this side I have about a 16 under two and a half. Uh, it's mirrored on the other side. It's just how it sat the best for me. Um, and then, so these two that right now they have, those are the factory holes they put in there because it had a a uh, fender strap on there that I, I don't particularly care for fender straps to use your own. Um, it would have made it a lot easier to use that, but it wasn't really the style I was going for. So, what I did, see if I can get this, is I measured on the very edge of the black metal, not the stainless, the black metal, to the center of that factory hole. That gave me my side to side how I wanted it. And then these two points right here, fine tune those in, marked out my holes. Did that for both sides. And it should turn out pretty good. And this is what I was talking about for the adjustability. 
So if you look on this side, it's all the way over. And on this side, it's all the way over. For some reason, on the one that I put over there, it didn't go this far out. It was about a sixteenth to an eighth inward. The notch is what it was catching on, was keeping it from going that extra amount that it needed in order to create the spacing between that it needed to go in there semi nicely. Uh, so I wound up having to Where's that? No, it wasn't this one. It was this one because I used that hole on the other one. And I put a bolt in there, you know, bolt, nut, lock tight. Took this one out in order to get my spacing properly. Why that one was so much different, I couldn't tell you. It is what it is. No, actually it was this one. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion on there. It was this one. It had... It's different. I don't know what they did different, but it's different. Um, but that's what I did on the uh, left-hand side of the bike. The kickstand side was I had to put a bolt in there. And move it to get that little extra spacing so if you got yourself a uh, fat bob and you got that type of spacing you might have to do the same yourself in order to get it to fit properly and over to here so if you look at this it's the same actually it's identical spacing as uh, what I went with um, originally it kicks this side out just a little bit more and your streamline through here it just kind of makes it look all wonky and you wind up having to add an extra little spacer right there because it wants to touch. Um, but if you wind up doing both and you wind up using the smaller spacer, you have all these assortments of uh, crap that they send you with. Other than, you know, American flags, safety glasses and a flag and I got a lot of stuff going on. But... These are the size that I wound up using. There's the bigger one. I've tried all sorts of things, uh, trying to get this uh, to fit the way that I want. It was trial and error type deal. But eventually I got it to where I like it. So uh, let's go ahead and get these bolts on there. And let's get the other bag mounted. Okay, so I ended up uh, reusing my bolts that uh, originally came out of there because I removed the docking hardware for the sissy bar. Uh, so if you have the docking hardware for the sissy bar and you like this identical look and you want to go for that, that's going to be your route. Wind up using the uh, longer one for the back and the shorter one for the front. And then uh, always remember the old trusty Loctite. Don't put the red on, you'll never be able to get it off. But some blue Loctite because, well, it's a Harley. We all know what it does. You're probably wondering, it's like, why are you putting a nut on the backside? Well, 
It's a Harley. <laughs> my my insides of this one kind of just fell apart on me when I was doing trial and error. I wound up having to cut the previous off, and yeah, it. I don't want to talk about it. It was a pain in the dick. This is going to fall off if I don't do this. Screw cells a little extra while I tighten the nut. Okay, that's not going anywhere. Okay, so I want to have to file this out just a little bit. Like I was saying with the other one, I had to put the bolt in a different place, but because of the different Arctic way this one's set up, it doesn't have a bolt hole there. Bolt holes instead on right there. on that the less wobble I'm gonna get so I, mean, I don't plan on removing them that often but that'll fit now lock tight lock tight tightened up and I just gotta put this on the bag all right we're back over here on the bench now I use washers on the inside here just because it's notch it's gonna be easy for it to push out with these uh, rounded Phillips heads, um, but for these bottom ones, you don't need to put anything on that. It's not going to go through there. Now you notice I'm not putting Loctite on it yet, and that's because on the other one, I realized as I put these things on, it removed all the Loctite, so I had to Loctite them inside the bag. You just got to be careful not to get Loctite on your stuff. Just dabbing everything with a little bit of Loctite.
can't really see the bottom ones, but See if I can get. So here's the uh, inside right here. So they put holes in there where the uh, mounts for the fender strap was, but then didn't leave any type of grommets to go in there. So what I have here is just a vacuum plug. I just kind of stuck it in there. It's probably gonna rattle out. I'm gonna get something later on. Try and weatherproof it a little bit. Um, I really wish they wouldn't have put anything on it. It uh, now I have ex two extra holes on each bag that have nothing in them. But not that big of a deal. But maybe it is. We'll see if my stuff gets all wet. So there we have it, we got both bags on. Nice clean lines. Doesn't extend out too far. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe, there's more to come.